Bleaching is bleaching. Basically, you, you need a lixivian. A lixivian can be somewhat out of reagent, usually you're trying to make sure it's cheap and recyclable or both or you know it can can be can be so that you because it costs you money and and what you do is you will actually dissolve you take something from a solid into a liquid that's leach you extract it you take it from a solid into a liquid depends what you leach you can leach it with cyanide with gold you can leach it with acids if you leach for example op oxides you know base metal oxides things like that so you and your rain so or alchemy you can there's a variety of, of exhibits that you can use. So that's the first thing. But the equipment you use is either depends on, on what you use. If you if you use it normal atmospheric leaching and atmosphere, it will be usually in open tanks. Um, and, and and that is a similar design for depends on on, on, on doesn't matter what, what commodity. If it's a if it's a, a low grade material you can go to heap leaching. Uh, and that's a, a totally different design, but that's a, a, a specific purpose. If it's a, if it's very refractory, it can be pressure leaching. So then you have to leach under pressure and high pressure and high temperature. And you do it in order of autoclave. That's a, another leaching. You can get bat leaching. You can get even in suture leaching, leaching it in the... So leaching can happen in a variety of vessels. Uh, and, and which vessel you choose will depend very much on the grade and the kinetics and the reaction and the lexivian you use, for example. So that's leaching. So basically what you do with all leaching is, except by leaching, but the, all the leaching is it will take it from a liquid, uh, from a solid into a liquid. That's that. So you actually chemical reaction. So that valuable metal is now in a liquid state. From there, you actually have to then take it from there and put it back because at the end of the day, you're selling the, the metal at all. Your, your work. So you have to take it through steps. And the purification is then, you might take, for example, if you leach copper or base metals, you might leach all the base metals, zinc and other things. Or if you leach gold, you might leach a bit of copper with it as well and a few other things, you know, that goes with it. Uh, you don't really get clean plain, simple, simple, you know, leaching cutoff that you don't leach other things. Um, so if you have that in solution, you don't want to actually sell that. Um, if you will sell it, or if it's very small quantities, you want to take it out so that you get a purer product that you can sell. If it's in big quantities, you actually probably want to separate so you can sell it as well. It might be valuable or might not be valuable. So you have to go and look at what you're doing with that at the end of the day. But then you have to purify it. And in a sense, to purify it, you have to actually then either um, separate it from each other. And by doing that, you can use things like adsorption, ion exchange, solvent extraction, crystallization processes, uh, you know, a variety of steps that can be used, which will purify that product to a final product which go through electro winning and electro refining. Uh, and then you deliver your final final metal or what product you want to deliver. But um, purification is actually to clean it from other metals. But it doesn't say that you throw the other metals away. It depends very much if um, if you're going to sell it or not sell it, or if it's there's enough of it. But usually in a gold industry, it might be just you know things you want to get rid of, so that you, put, you know it's more pure. Uh, in, in base metals, if you copper and you have small amounts of other base metals, you don't want it to have it in the copper plate, so you want to get rid of that. So you use solvent extraction or other methods to actually separate the copper and the zinc and lead and other materials. Uh, you can do that, you know, but that, that, is, that is processes where you actually finally, all these steps from leaching and purification, etc., and, 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 and cleaning, is all steps to deliver a final product. They are usually quite expensive and you have to use less. So you, you want to have a beneficiation by that already. So the trade is good and you, you want to take it out. I mean in, 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 in Australia for example everything we do with base metals except at Olympic Dam and nickel except at Kunana and those, most of that is sold, sold as a flotation concentrate. So it's containing other, can be a variety of concentrates or a mixture of concentrate containing base metals or copper concentrate sulfides or 
variety, and that gets sold. And then they have to go and do something with it. It can be either pyrometallurgical, they can smelt it and do that, or they can do it with hydrometallurgy, which is leaching and purification, etc.